the question of experience, uh, Obama's, as, as you know, when he graduated the Harvard, uh, could have gone to any law school, any uh, law firm, and instead he became a community organizer in Chicago. He got to feel what the problems of the people are, particularly in the housing area. And he did that instead of going out and looking for a law office. I think that was wonderful. Isn't that perfect experience and perfect way to learn what you what th this country is not only made up of conservatives or anti this or anti that this country is made up of everyone if you're going to be president you have to be a president of everybody and experience but you know you can have good experience or bad experience experience can be worthwhile or it can be it being just it, it can mean nothing experience scares me in washington because you know, it's an entrenched experience, and, and I don't think that they represent the common man. And I am one. JFK didn't have much experience either. And I, and I voted for him and supported him, and he was a great president. At the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis, when a really tough decision had to be made, he made the deal. And we're, and we're here to talk about it, which we might not be with someone who was a little more uh, aggressive and a little more, you know, oh, we'll tell them what to do. We might not be here discussing it. So the question of experience is one thing, but judgment is important. McCain's voting record is nothing for, that makes me happy. I'm sorry. That experience just tells me that he, he's to the right of the Republicans. And the rest of it, though, you can say anything you want. It's how you vote, what you do. I just don't think that he has is the same experience for his age that Obama has for his age. The experience that uh, McCain has as a senator, um, he has experience with lobbyists. He knows how Washington works. He's an inside Washington person. Um, Obama comes to this with a fresh outlook. He comes with decision-making ability. He comes with consensus-making ability uh, and just his basic intelligence. Well, when you think of McCain, Obama, or whoever it may be, you kind of think about the people they've surrounded themselves with. Well, if you look at the first decision that these people that uh, McCain made and Obama made was to select a vice presidential candidate. And Obama picked Joe Biden because of his experience. And on the other hand, you have McCain, who made this dangerously irresponsible selection of this woman. She's beyond no experience. She is a woman, biologically. She's not my kind of woman. I don't like her. I don't like the things that she stands for. When they speak of lack of experience, uh, experience is good. Judgment is better. McCain? has experiences, he didn't ask for them. Some of his experiences were inflicted upon him. Five years in, uh, as a prisoner of war does not really help him be uh, the chief executive of this country. Barack went out to seek experiences that were going to help him, that were going to help him understand how we live here, how to help people. Whoever is the president is inheriting these huge problems, huge problems. And they're going to have to build consensus and they're going to have to get people to work together. I can't see McCain doing it as, as effectively as Obama. I think that really when he went to Washington, he's been in Washington for two years, he suddenly realized, you know, what was, a, what was going on in Washington and he knows that's what the word change comes from. He wants to change and he wants to knock down those doors that are blocked to the, the common man. And, uh, and take care of us. That's the way I look at it. And uh, I just, uh, I just like them.